I feel like we're prank calling somebody. <laughs> Does everyone hear that? Yeah. The voice now. We can oh. Hello. Hello. Uh, I think we. Sorry, I think we may have a wrong number. No problem. Sorry. That was that was weird. I don't know what you number were, that was. You were prank calling somebody. <laughs> How did that happen? Did oh I, my god, you guys! I'm so sorry. I'm like dying laughing over here. Okay, I'm gonna try it again. <laughs> I feel like we should have said, like, is your refrigerator running? (laughs) 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 Start singing happy birthday to some random guy. (laughs) Now I'm afraid. I'm really afraid. I I hope it was that you put the wrong number. I did, I did. Okay, good. (laughs) I should know my own dad's number. (laughs) What? Adam? Hello, Dad? Dad. Hi, where are you, Adam, where are you calling from? Well, it's not just Hi. Adam. It's actually, we're on our fireside chat show, and everybody here just wanted to collectively wish you a quick happy birthday on the show. Oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> uh, okay, happy, yeah, birthday. Guys, happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy, happy birthday! birthday. I, hope mean, I hope that doesn't mean I'm being selected for the arena. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, you're older than 18, so you're safe. <laughs> well, maybe this is a different version of the games. You know, you, you you pick them again when they get older. When you get past a certain age, you become re-eligible, you know? Right, um, right. Like the, like the quarter quell. In the quarter quell. <laughs> right, exactly, you know? Um, maybe I'm a past participant, and, you know, I'm being recalled. But anyway, um, thank you all for, mm-hmm. for calling me. How many of you are there online here on, on the show? There are nine people right now. Really? Wow. That was very wonderful of you to call. It's fantastic. <laughs> um, and, you know, and, and, and coming that it's a day after Father's Day, you know, it's like I always feel like I'm getting cheated out of a holiday. So special okay. to get a call now, especially when the birthday's almost at its end. So it's like you're getting the last last bit of, 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 of uh, enjoyment out of it, you know, celebration before the day is out. But uh, so, what is the well, topic of the and evening? We we had a lot of topics, but someone actually wanted to ask you a uh, kind of a tough question because um, we were just doing a, se- a segment called Crackpot Theories. We were tossing around suggestions. So, Savannah, do you want to read the question and see if and you have to answer real or not real? Uh, if you think it's real, when you say real, if you think it's not, you say. And you can you can elaborate a little bit if you want to. <laughs> so, uh, Savannah, if you want to ask the question. Did Gail and Madge hook up at some point during the Hunger Games? Uh, Remember, Dad, Madge was the mayor's daughter who had kind of a <laughs> maybe I'd a, say, a I rumor. Would say, I would say unreal. I'm, I do not believe that would be the case at all. I would say no. They would not hook up at all. Gail and Madge. Madge was. Why do you? Say, what's your reason? Because I think I think Gail was was obsessed obsessed. I don't think he would uh, he would have any reason to to be interested in with, with Katniss. I don't think he would. I don't think he was interested. I think he was preoccupied with his outside activities and not very. I think I don't think she was ever that desirable to him. What would make you think there's a relationship there? Well, we were talking about it before on the show, but there's one scene where she seemed to go out of her way to bring him medicine. Um, and uh, I do think maybe there was a little bit of suspicion of something, but uh, plenty of people agree with you. Uh, I, I hope you're not mad at me on your birthday. I actually said I thought there was some reality to it. No, <laughs> no, I think, I, no, I think, I think that perhaps on her part there might have been, but I don't think on his part. Let's put it that way. That doesn't mean that she wouldn't have liked that, but I don't believe there was any reciprocation. Let's put it that way. I'm pretty and sure. And while we right. have you on the uh, on the line, really quickly, do you think Katniss made the right choice with Peter, or do you think she should have gone with Gail? Well, that's a tough one. Should, should, should Katniss have gone with Peter or gone with Gail? Did she make the right choice or not? 
My wife feels she made the right choice, but I'm not so sure. I was never a big, big I'm not, I, was, I was never a big Peter fan. I mean, Peter was very kind during the vote, but Gail was was uh, the passion was more with Gail than with Peter. So I don't know. I I, I was kind of rooting for the Gail side personally. Peter was with too much the doting the doting. I I I still was partial to Gail. Although I think she probably had a better life with Peter. So I think she made the right choice for the harmony and serenity and peace. But in fact, the passion was Gail as far as I was concerned. That's my take on it. So, so I think she made the right choice probably if she wants to have a family and live a more normal life. But I think running off with Gail was the romantic thing to do. So much, Dad, for uh, answering that. And happy birthday to you. Does that jive with what you people have to say on the subject or not? Well, we, there, there are only about 50 seconds remaining in the show, so oh, 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 I think okay. we'll have to, to put that to rest. That. So we'll right, put that to rest. That. So thank you. And just so you know, Dad, I don't agree with you. I'm Team PETA, but we'll talk about this later. 